so next topic is next topic is actually arrow e6 uh, uh, i mean features e6 means uh, ecma script 6 ecma script 6 is an advanced advanced form of javascript okay we call this as e6 okay so here this is like uh, where we have so yeah we see in this uh, there are some topics okay they have added uh, some topics in the ecma script 6 that is like let const also yeah let const also they came from the ecma script 6 6 only okay so in general okay. you can, you write in general function like this function some function name and uh, you will write the add and next comma z and uh, once you are calling this function you will get the value of this f5 into 10 that is 50 okay this is in general you will do with the, the normal function so let me just uh, show you here So, so see here. Let me go for the inspect console. See this uh, add function, it's already there. So let me give here add function one. And uh, here I am just passing the add function one. And uh, this is for the normal function, and this is for the main function, arrow function. So if I go and execute it, so I will uh, I will get here fifty, the line number seventy. So that is this one. This is uh, I will get as fifty, and uh, since the uh, five into ten, this it will become as fifty. So if you observe we can do the x into x and uh, you know we can declare the same variables inside the function so that is like uh, where uh, we will have you know you know this uh, 100 now it now it is 100 why because the second assigned value for the x is 10 so 10 into 10 it has become as 100 okay 10 into 10 it has actually become as an 100 okay so that's why it was written to me it has written me actually 100 okay and uh, yeah we can assign this function to one variable that is this add function either you call this function or either this way we can write the function or we can write the function with by assigning a variable okay so this is an gen uh, this is also a way of declaring the function let uh, some add function is equal to function this is the keyword x comma x and i am returning x into x okay so where it will return the value towards the add add function either this way is equal to this way both are same okay so this way of writing the function is asynchronous way of writing the function this way of writing the function is synchronous way of writing the function so in both cases if you observe we have this uh, if I give one y, it will it will consider the x value as five, y value as ten for this function. So if I am giving this add function, it will go here, x into x. So second time assigned value for the x is ten. That's why ten into ten it will become as hundred. So now if you see. Fifty and uh, hundred. 
So duplicate parameters are accepted inside the normal function. This is one of the disadvantage. See here, we have, can we can uh, we can able to pass duplicate parameters inside the inside the function. So which is not uh, some which is not accepted sometimes in some cases. So duplicate parameters are accepted in the normal function. To avoid the duplicate parameters, they came up with in year six in 2015. One, uh, you know, this uh, uh, one one scenario known as uh, arrow function. What this arrow function will do? It will go and uh, uh, you know uh, multiply multiply the you know this uh, data. Yeah. So let uh, same the same whatever general function. However, it is the same thing, but let function here. I am giving a uh, you know this uh, x comma y, and I am giving a arrow function, uh, arrow mark, and I am giving x comma y x into y. This is equal to this one. Okay, this is equal to this uh, way of way of declaration. But here we are not using any function. We are using an arrow. Okay, this arrow will take care about. I mean the. Uh, I mean declaring the values as a function within the function. So here I have f u n c array one. f u n c array one is an arrow function which is returning x into y. So what are the two parameters that it is accepting here? 3 comma 5. 3 comma 5 are the two parameters the function is accepting. Okay. Where I will get if I pass function or ARR1 of 3 comma 5, I will get the value here as 15. That is what here. Okay. So, and also if I want, I am just told this one, I am writing more elaborately one more function. That is arrow, arrow function area. So in this area, I am just I am equal, uh, equal to length and breadth. Okay. Length and breadth. So here, this, this length and uh, um, breadth so is like that. So, yeah. So B R E D then B A D B R E A D T H. Okay, breadth. Length and breadth I am taking. So where I have you know length length and breadth. So my what is the area formula is length into breadth into height. That is my area formula. So I am calling this uh, area and internally I am taking one more uh, one more uh, variable that is height equal to 20. And uh, here the length is actually 10. Breadth, is, breadth will be 70. Height will be 20. Okay. 10 into 70 into again 20. 14,000. 14, okay. Total it will become fourteen thousand of the. Uh, it it will return. Why why if I pass this? It will return fourteen thousand. Okay. So in this, if I try to access the duplicate parameter within the arrow function, so if you see now, F A N C. See duplicate parameters is not allowed in this context. So we can't able to assign the duplicate parameters within the arrow function. Arrow function don't allow duplicate parameters, but normal function can allow a duplicate parameter and it will get the updated value of the last executed value. Okay. That is the difference. Okay. Any, okay. Doubt, any doubt you have? Okay, then. So next is like map map stores the data in key and value pairs. So uh, you so you know about object. Object also stores the data in the format of key and value pairs. 
Map also stores the data in the key and value pairs. So map is introduced in ES6, ECMAScript 6. Map can do iteration and also it can store the data. Object can only store the data. And also map can have an object array, number and string. Have values. It can have values as object array, string, string number, anything. Okay. So in general, if you see object is also a key and value pairs. But in the map, uh, in in the in the object, we can we can find only one key and one value. But uh, the value is is not is not it will be like an you know a one single value. But in map, we can have object array and also number string any kind of value it can be within the map. Okay. We can also iterate the map, but we can't iterate an object. Okay. So, and also we can do the CRUD operations with the map. Means we can create, update, delete also. This is access and storage medium also. But in map, it is uh, it is not, uh, not like that. Okay. So, so next is like, uh, it is like in general how the map will look like is an um, array in the array i am having bangalore in this bangalore i am having the value for the key bangalore i am having an array okay so for the key uh, of, of bangalore i am having here an uh, array that is again it's an array of objects okay so Next, next one is like here, let map var equal to some new map, okay? I am just creating a empty map here. So however, I have created an empty array, if you remember empty object, just like that I am creating an empty map. So set method is used to insert the data in, in the map. What the set method will do? The set method is used to insert or set the data in the map. I am having this EMP details. That is an empty map. Okay. So EMP details dot set info. Again, num name, uh, you know, or uh, ragu age 26. This is total value. Again, this is also value. This is also a value and uh, this is also a value. Info and info2 are the keys. Info is a key. Info2 is also a key. Okay. So let me show you this one here. So you see now, this is a map which is having, again, you know, Bangalore. And also it is having Anita and Chandu. Okay. So if you see here, I have given one is like Raghu and Asha. That is also. Yeah. Okay. This is, uh, I didn't, uh, EMP details 56. Here it is. Okay. Info 2. One is like, uh, you know, here, first one is like info, and uh, in this info, again, I have an object and info two. Two, two entries are there here. One is uh, one is Raghu, and other one is, you know, uh, Asha. Okay. So I think I have deleted it. That is why it was not uh, showing. So let me show you. Uh, We delete this one, comment this one. So now you can find this two. 56, I remember 56. One is like uh, Raghu. Second one is like again, Asha, this one. Okay. So Asha is actually info two. That uh, the key is, info is for the Raghu, is, is for the Raghu. Okay. So this is always the key. This is always the value. 
So how do I inserted this one for an empty map through the set method? Through the set method, I can able to insert the key and also value. Okay, so let me So yeah, I will show you here how it is uh, most uh, clearly. Okay, so here also you can now uh, find me. So you see that's uh, info and the name. This is the key. This is the value. Okay, so like that you can insert some more also. Again here, uh, it's like a EMP, EMP set time for again uh, three, for example. You can go for... Anastruck uh, in the next one. Okay. Uh, Shankar. Shankar and uh, I am just giving here from 34. So I am giving so we can find uh, this as a key and this as a value. Okay. So like that we can able to get the uh, I mean uh, insert the data into the map. So how do we get the data inside the map from the map through the get get uh, method? Through the get method, we can able to get the details. For example, here I have EMP details. I have here dot get. Through the dot get method, since this is a map, that's for uh, because of the totally this dot get will work. This dot get method where I am just calling info three info two. So this info two is uh, is actually going to capture this value, okay? So where I will get here this res where I will get uh, uh, only this Asha, Asha only. So next one is like uh, how can we delete the data? So we can delete the data through the delete method. So I am going to delete here. So and uh, I am going to capture this console.log, you know, EMP details, okay? So I am giving here console.log, again, you know, uh, delete, okay? So I am just giving this, so I am just going forward and run, okay, delete. Yeah, where I will delete the here I delete and map and info two and info three. So info since the info is deleted, only we are having two entries info two and info three. Okay, so that's how we can able to insert the data, and also we can fetch the data, and also we can able to delete the data in the map. Okay, any doubt in this? Eleven. So next one is like map. Okay, this is like the the creation. Yeah, first I created an empty map. Let map data is equal to new map map set where I have name Raju map data where I have where where I have Raju and again map data. If I go, I will get here one is name name is the key value is raju age is the key 27 is the value okay now i have i will get this name and raju age 27 so how to iterate this map means through the for loop for letter i have to give here the brackets key comma value which should be enclosed within the square bracket of map data where map data is like my map 
and also I am giving key console dot lock key hyphen value where I it will display name and age twenty seven here. So we can able to insert the data also some more data also if you want to insert we can we can able to insert here in Bangalore. So where if you see. I will get all of this here, okay. So yeah, this is how we can able to iterate on top of the map, okay. okay. So within the same map also, we can able to iterate. That is, uh, for example, I have here some uh, for uh, 11.44, so 22.12, 55.12, Five six. So I want to find out the floor value of all this numeric of all this numeric set. Then I can go for data, whatever the data I declared, data dot map map, and I have to go for math dot floor. Means we are going to apply for each element, each item, or each entry. We are going to apply this math dot floor. Math dot floor will be applicable for all of these values. I mean, finally, it will give us result as 11, 22, 55. Okay. So, yeah, that's how the self iteration within the map. Okay, self iteration within the, within the map. So next one is like self iteration within the map. So next one is like uh, the same thing, whatever the above you have done, that same thing we can able to do with uh, like this also. Okay, that is like, uh, you know, rest data dot map. In this map, again, we can go for item. So item means each item, each each entry, each entry. Whatever item means each entry, and uh, I have to return map math dot floor, and I have to give here item. So now this 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 item is nothing but each item eleven point one four twenty two point one two. 2.56. Now, this is again where somewhere I have to give the. I hope this is the one. So, I will get here also in this case also, I will get the uh, values 11, 22, 55. Okay. So, let me come with one scenario. So, I have a salary here so where the letter some salary 10,000 20,000 30,000 these are for three different employees so i want to add some thousand rupees for each employee so uh, through the map how can i do okay there i am just giving one variable i am just starting an s salary dot uh, map map and uh, I am giving here item, okay. And uh, I am giving here a return. And uh, if you see now, this each item, if I go and console dot log, I will get in each item that uh, ten thousand that and all, all the information I will get ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, okay. So what is my aim? I want to increment their salary. Okay. So what I will do is I will go and return the item plus thousand rupees for each each uh, for everybody. Okay. So at console dot log. Finally, I want to capture this rest data. So I will get here eleven thousand. 21,000 and 31,000. Like that, we can we can able to increment the 
data uh, i mean with the with the increment the values in the array for the you know uh, I, i mean via the map okay uh, are you clear okay so next is like a little uh, you know, uh, some important uh, thing okay so here uh, you see map locations so i have this map uh, initially that is an empty empty map empty for this empty map i am first taking bengaluru and chennai related information so this bengaluru is a key chennai is a key and uh, this array is a value and this array values well value so yeah. i am setting bengaluru and chennai and uh, if i see the this output i can able to find the key what one key is bengaluru other key is chennai related information Chen. so i will get here one is bengaluru related other one is chennai related information so who are the employees in the bengaluru one is name and chandu anita and chandu who are the employees in chennai seta and kumar these people are the you know total employees so i want to find out the salaries greater than or uh, so first i want to merge all of the records so how do i merge merge them first i will go and capture the values so i can capture the values through the get method so here i am having console dot la bengaluru array map locations dot get bengaluru means i will get only this records and after that i will get this uh, chennai i will get these records so if i go and console dot log this one where i will get the both uh, the informations one is uh, chandu and other one is anita seta and kumar these are the two different entries okay so now i want to merge all the all the records okay so to merge all the records i am using one es6 operator that is a spread operator this spread operator what it will do it will fetch the records in an array this spread operator what it will do it will fetch the records in the array so this three it is denoted with the three dots okay so if i give here three dots bengaluru array i will get i will get this anita and chandu and three dots chennai array i will get seta and kumar okay one is anita and chandu i will get other one is seta and kumar i will get so these two are these two are the two records i will get into total employees so now if i go down and uh, i am just taking one more here and uh, yeah we can find here within the single array i got all the employees anita chandu seta kumar okay so the spread operator what it will do it will it will take the all entries of the array and it it will go and merge in 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 some array or some different array okay so you can find here filter the records who are greater than 20000 salary you can able to find it out very easily here for so generally you have to do but uh, i am having here console dot log and uh, total employees okay of uh, i if i give i can able to find out all of these records so my aim is to okay, to fetch the records whose uh, salary greater than 20000 so where i will go for the 
total records of I and I am going for greater than 20,000. But uh, first I will give a dot salary. So you can find here all of this. Na? This all these records, each and individual records you are finding now. So I am just going to the so console.log, for example, console.log. Total employees of uh, I okay not salary. So I will get all the salaries. So here twenty thousand, eighteen thousand, thirty thousand, and nine and nine thousand. So what I am doing, I am checking whose salary is greater than twenty thousand. And I am making it this as an if loop. Okay. And, uh, and I am just considering this within the if loop. Okay. So here it is like whose salary greater than 20,000. I am going to capture those records. So the person who is greater than 20,000 is only Sita. So she will be appear to us okay so we have any question in this Eleven. one is a uh, map uh, this is very important map is like uh, mostly used array from array array arrow functions also mostly used so it should be like uh, but, uh, these are like most uh, you should you once you do only you will have the doubts okay 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 so um i will uh, stop the class here this is the uh, little important topic so without this uh, there is no we can't go further to that so this uh, practice can go further to the React JS also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm, tomorrow. Okay. We'll stop.